Hey everybody, Rodaman here, recording episode 4 of Vat Grown Massacre. Uh, so we're right in the midst of winter. It's dead at winter. Eight, day out of 15. Um, just trying to make do here. Um, so we just have a new dining room set up. And I want an, a zone for fun. So that will be next. A... Uh, Wreck zone. Um, hmm. I want to reduce the amount of foot traffic. Maybe put the wreck zone there. It's probably not the most efficient use of space. I'll, I'll think about it. Rec zone, rec zone. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I want to put it here, but there's just... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Even though there's all this stuff. I'm going to move this pretty quickly. So let's set up a dump stockpile for this stuff. This dump stockpile won't slow anyone down. Tis the point. There's still snow on the ground. Yeah, there's a dusting of snow. We'll go ahead and fix that. Melt it down. My stem is still cranking away on the research. get this block out of the way. Almost done hauling it all. Just forget about that stuff down there. Some more revenge. You are an angry, angry beaver. Well, you know what? I'm going to juke you like this. Yeah. Ooh. You got murked. So murked. I was being precautious because, uh, or cautious, uh, because Tannen suffered a pretty crippling injury just from a peck on the eyeball. I didn't want to have that repeat. Plus, um, Alpha Beavers ever, every now and then can score, like, critical hits, quote-unquote, uh, which is really, really bad. Hmm. That wall's kind of annoying. I guess I can use this as a kill window, too. I probably should have just done that. Alright, so we have a good old-fashioned raid on our hands. I'm going to let everyone sleep a little bit more until they get closer. Because they're not immediately prepping. What kind of guns do they have? Uh, nothing too threatening. They have an incendiary launcher and a bunch of bolts. Alright, so component assembly, that's great. 
let's get the scanner going and let's get our bench All right, so everyone's up. I'm glad I didn't wake them up needlessly. All right, they're beginning their assault. Let's get people into position. Slow time down a little bit. Why? Oh, she's vomiting. I was like, why can't I move her? What's going on? As she vomits into the ground. Why she, oh, food poisoning. Oh, off with your head. Ooh, some wake up. Yeah, this raid was, um, they got massacred. <laughs> Just utterly massacred. I don't think anyone made it out alive. All right. Good job, Raiders. I may have underestimated you. Granted, I had somewhat of a um, defensive advantage. Not somewhat, but an, an insanely strong defensive advantage. But still, that was impressive, I think. Right? Uh, this is not for corpses. Let's get rid of that. It's not for anything but chunks. Rotten chunks, apparently. Because, yeah, we're going to want this human leather. Butchering human likes. Not her favorite thing to do. Lucky for me, I give her no choice. Okay, so we need a little bit more um, limestone. We're not finishing that project up due to the lack of lime. Okay, so we have a component assembly bench, which makes me breathe a lot easier. Because we had a very limited amount of... Um, a very limited amount of components before, and now uh, we don't. Well, we do, but we have the option to get more. All right, Iseth will cook up a few uh, more blocks. Thrall, how's that? Okay, so you you don't like butchering human likes, but like it isn't your least favorite thing. Okay, they're all dead now. All this human leather. It's going to be wonderful. All right, so let's um, let's actually do something with this human leather. So let's say we will use human leather for four shirts. Thrall can be left out because she's not bloodlusty like the rest of us. All right, so go ahead and suspend that. I guess put another chair there. All right, oops, I guess she was already making it. And I screwed it up and made her drop what she was hauling. My bad. All right, go to sleep. We'll do the rest tomorrow. So I need a bulk goods person to take this stuff off my hands. Um, I've got quite a considerable amount of... Oh, I guess we need some more limestone blocks. Quite a considerable amount of uh, human meat that I think would fetch a really good price had I had it moved in here for the last bulk goods. I didn't, and that's my bad. Alright, let's get fine meals again. Alright, so I have the... Ooh, 
Ooh, I didn't mean to do long range scanner. That's not terrible. That might find me some plasteel, but that wasn't my intention. My intention was the ground scanner. Too similar of a name. Alright, so I think Iseth is going to make a few new, a few more blocks. Um, so that we can make this chest table. I think I'm going to go ahead and suspend it. I think we have enough. Yeah, we do. We have enough. All right, so we're starting to make uh, the shirts. So if you look at the this human leather stuff, I've got plus five. Got some loving. Wow, they're cloud nine happy. And this will also get her crafting skill up. It's getting up there. So everyone's going to be a little bit happier now that they have their, like, human leather stuff that they're wearing. A mad squirrel. Oh, dear. All right, Agil, could you, uh... Really? There you go. I was surprised it took so many shots, but I guess squirrels are pretty small. And this might be all the human leather I have for this last shirt. So everyone will everyone will sport a shirt. If they so want. Let's um yeah, when they're awake, I'll encourage them to actually use it. And gotta load the world again. I don't have to, but I want to take a look. Um, so we could try to raid Dentist Town. I don't think we have enough stuff. I, I'd like a set of power armor or two before attempting that, just so that we can tank some shots before getting shredded. Um, but once we have ground penetrating radar, we, uh, let's just build the other, um, long range minerals, mineral scanner now. That looks to be a nice tucked away spot for it. Um, cause it's possible that we get, uh, like a plasteel steel mission or something like that. And that could be, uh, that could be nice. All right, our game room's about to have its first game, I guess, if you can call it that. And we're almost out of winter. It's getting close. So I, Seth, here... Uh, let's get you to crafting. So we've got the scanner going. It just, if you don't know what it does, it just sort of sits there for a while until it detects resources nearby. Um, oh, you know what? This is moving water. It's possible that this moisture pump never dries up moving water. I think that's what it does. Uh, does not affect deep water... I don't think it works on moving water. I could be wrong. I'll leave it in for a bit longer. All right, now we're back to mining for steel. The old fashioned way, not the deep drill, interesting fun way. Um, and 
and there doesn't seem to ever be wind or sun every time I look at the power grid, but somehow my power stays on. All right, so I, Seth, is... Let's put a door there. That will help. And we can hold that door open. Hold this door open. There's really no need to have it closed and s slow people down. Oh, great. So you uh, bust a hole in the wall and don't patch it before you go to sleep. I suppose that's that's much like a, almost every contractor I've ever known. <laughs> contractor zing. All right. It looks like we need some, some good old-fashioned cleaning done. Agile, it's on you, Nan. It is on you. You're going to be a little cleaning monster. Alright, so I want you to wear the human leather. But I won't force it. But I think you'd prefer it, so... Same with you, Tannen. Often they like won't swap, but if you force it like that, they will. All right, so let's build that door. And what I can do is I um I could give when Iseth is making important stuff, I could give her wake up because I have a little bit of wake up here. Caribou meat and an eclipse. Man, if this was ancient times, an eclipse where caribou meat falls from the sky, yeah, I would say there's a god or aliens or something weird out there. Alright, so 6th of April, May, uh, which is mid-spring, um, we're almost out of December, or winter. Alright, good, he's cleaning up. Yeah, it's easy to get um, that sort of filth creep up on you. And obviously these bedrooms are, like, miserable. Oh, uh, that's another cool thing that they added in the future patch. I was talking about uh, the 18 Alpha um, last episode. Another cool thing that they added was um, bedroom furniture, which I find kind of neat. Cleaning rock rubble everywhere. Yeah, I guess I'll leave that as a home area. Awful rec room. Decent dining room. It's probably because he's cleaned up one but not the other. Yeah, I find it very difficult to try to keep things clean unless you have someone basically dedicated to clean up. And the one problem I have with that is uh, they tend to do a very bad job of it. Because what will happen is they'll like run from one corner of your base to the other, cleaning up that like one little bit of dirt that somehow got accumulated. Which is not all that efficient to do. Alright, so this snow thick crap is kind of slowing me down. I don't really know where the roads are, though. Wood floor, wood floor, wood floor. Wood floor. Okay. Yeah, I do now. Let's try to speed people up a bit. Soon it won't really matter, all this uh, snow clearing, because winter is almost over. Old man winter is going to go to sleep.
gonna leave me alone? But I might as well label it. The stuff that's under um, roof stuff isn't gonna accumulate snow. I just, you know, have OCD and and uh, want to draw the proper path. All right, so this stuff is under constructed roof. Should be a bit faster to move around now. Man, how is there this much filth and dirt? It's actually pretty impressive. Everything's looking a lot better though. Why is this an awful room? It just must be very dirty, yeah. It is. Let's sip Aguil on it. All right, now it's decent. All right, some of the bedrooms are still pretty dirty. I mean, part of the problem is when you have to travel through a farm, you pick up dirt on your feet. And then you transfer that dirt to wherever you're going. But I think I managed to clean up that dirt just before they went to sleep. So it's dull now rather than like awful. Alright, we're about halfway to ground penetrating radar a little bit more. I'm anxious, very anxious. Okay, this is our home area. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's painted pretty well. Going for a walk. All right, buddy. So let's check on the mining that we had done. A lot of the, um, the stuff is finished, I bet. Not finished, but progress. Need to paint some. Oh, we're done up there. Yeah, we're just about at our um, end of supply. So there's a little bit of here and there. And that's about all that's left on the map. Pretty limited amount of steel, I'd have to say. The good news, the very, very, very good news, is that uh, we'll have ground penetrating radar and a much more or much less finite amount. We also made all the components we needed. All right, it's the end of winter. How about we warm up a little bit? This thick snow everywhere is slowing everything down. Alright, five more days to see if this actually works. I don't think it does. I could be wrong, but I think it might have programmed moving water and stagnant water differently. Because this is shallow moving water, and this is shallow water. This is shallow moving water because it's like, technically should be part of this river, but I... But it got separated because of the road that ran through the river. Whatever, it doesn't really matter, but I think Shallow moving water and moving water, or shallow water and shallow moving water are treated differently. And as a result, I'm not going to be able to uh, dry up that area, which is fine. I didn't really need it to be dried up. I just thought it might be nice. All right, it's spring. Why am I doing this flagstone? To look nice. Mostly because it will have Iseth do a bit more crafting. Because she needs, um, she needs more crafting to be able to make good stuff reliably. Um, 
So it's a pretty unnecessary task. But uh, it will get her slightly higher in crafting and uh, look a bit nicer in the base. It is a lot of limestone, though, that I just called for. I could probably only use one heater and then a vent between the two. I probably don't need all these heaters. Although, I don't really care until... Um, I don't really care until... It becomes a problem that I... Uh, need to save more power. Aguil, I think I'm going to swap you back to hauling. So we're almost done with the uh, ground scanner for the deep ore. Man, they're just going to town. Tearing everything up. Alright, there's a wealth of limestone still. I just need them to haul it. Makes it a bit easier for her to craft. Alright, still bad temperature. Should be getting there soon. <laughs> Look at them go. Oh, yep. There we go. It's starting to melt. Rulant. Alright. I guess more human leather. Yep. Alright. The plants are all coming back. It's warming up enough. But I'm going to... Um, this allow that because I want the rice first. Rice, I think, is more important than psychoid leaves. Yes, I said it. Not so much of a controversial statement, I don't think. I think you all would agree with me. Food in your belly is better than drugs. But hey, maybe some disagree. What do I know, right? All right, Iseth's up to 14 crafter. Let's stop relaxing. Yeah, all right. This is not drying up the river. It doesn't work. Go ahead and destroy it. a fair bit of components that I get back so I think it's worth it and a solar flare all right it's gonna stop my research All right, let's do another hall fest. Except for, well, Iseth is gonna be crafting anyway. Or cloud watching? Come on. Just so that we can fill up this area with uh, limestone and make it a little bit easier for her to crank out the blocks that she wants. And let's just say drop on the floor so she doesn't have to bring to the stockpile because I think they're gonna be used pretty quickly. So we don't really run that that worry of having them clutter up. They're using it like immediately. Female grizzly, one year old. She sure is big for a one year old.
Huh, did I? What is going on there? I had... Oh, when I removed the... Oh, okay. Interesting. When I removed the tile, water came back. When I moved the tile for the road. Um, which makes me think, if I remove it for here, this will turn into... I hope it doesn't turn into deep water. Uh, it would turn into shallow water, which would slow people walking even more. I'm a little worried about the turning into deep water, though. If that is at all possible. And then that would be uh, a little bit problematic. As it would break my defenses pretty considerably. Um, so I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to let them run full speed on that uh, tile. Because I'm not safe scumming. So I don't want to find out the hard way. All right, pants, pants, pants. Let's make you make one pair of pants and make it a human leather. Oh, Tannin's trying to woo Thrall? That's weird. I mean, the, uh, the game doesn't realize that I have a a slave girl named Thrall. They don't really understand that, so I forgive them for their uh, misunderstanding. Who's going to wear the pants in this family? I don't know. Alright, let's get Mastema off of hauling so that she can get back to research. It's probably enough limestone in there. In fact, get everyone off of hauling. Except for Agil, who is our hauler, apparently. Growing zone. Let's put some pine trees in there. I don't think it will work, but you never know. Alright, so now that that's done, let's put all the psychoid leaves in the ground. We have a bit of a buildup of blocks, which is nice. And a bulk goods trader that I'll have Thrall trade with. So I'm going to replace this wall here with um, limestone. And I'm going to replace the doors with steel. And turn this into a little bit of a kill box. So once they run the gauntlet maze, they run into turrets. Uh, all right, bulk goods, bulk goods. So let me drop a trade beacon in here because I want to sell all this human meat. And have Tannin finish it off. And then the Thrall. Try to trade it away. All right, so human meat. Boom. That's a good amount of money. Uh, all right, what else can I sell? Pig skin, sure. Beaver skin, bear skin. I don't need to buy components anymore. Squirrel skin. The antibiotics. Keep the medicine, though. Uh, hmm, let's see. Granite blocks, why not? Even though they're the best blocks. Half my wood. Everything I'm not wearing. Most of this stuff came from dead people anyway. Keep 
the pants. Keep the shirt. All right, that's a lot of money so far. Um, yeah. And now I'm just going to hope that someone that carries bionic parts passes by. I'm a little tempted to buy components, but I won't. I will not give in to that, uh, that feeling. Okay, so we have ground penetrating radar. Let's start with that. Let's set up our ground penetrating radar. That looks like a good spot. And zoom out. I'm trying to forbid the path so they work on more important stuff. I think I got it done. All right, so we don't have a lot of food here. We can go hunting, though. I'm not that concerned. Let's get this wall done. Where are you still building flagstone? Up here. Okay. Stop it. I want you down here. So I'm not that worried about this spoiling. It spoils in a day. I have a little bit of time. So that will help bulletproof our kitchen a little bit more. Because previously our kitchen was um, pretty vulnerable to stray bullets, having only been wood walls. And I might keep tanning up a little bit longer than he wants to be. So he finishes this project. Only two components needed. Ooh, combat supplier. All right, floors. Okay, so we can sell all the junk weapons that we have. Which we have plenty of. Even the shoddy assault rifle. I don't really need it. And that might be it, actually. Um, yeah, I don't see anything I want to buy off them. Come on, exotic goods. That's what I'm waiting for. Alright, so this is back to being refrigerated. Um, I think we need to go do some hunting, and I'm going to very selectively pick things that will have high yield, not waste my time shooting little critters, because we're pretty low on food. This is when, oh, let's butcher you if I can. This is when you want a muffalo. There is a little bit of a danger of hunting a large herd, though. They can turn on you. Mm, not going to hunt the bear just yet. All right, quit walking. We got work to do. All right, so we have some simple meals. We're building this ground penetrating radar. 
It's going to take a lot of our components, but now that we have a component bench, that's not a terrible thing. We're done with most of the necessary um, limestone. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is probably something pretty high quality, I'd imagine. Um, this is, I'm sure, steel. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'll put it there. Mining in our own kitchen. Because why not? Alright, they are getting this path built a lot faster than I thought they would. But this thrall, let's get you off of constructing. Oh, you should be growing anyway. What is your f malfunction there? Cooking simple meal. Cooking is fine. I want you cooking and growing, not constructing. I'll just take her off of constructing altogether. Yeah, she should be sewing. But she's not. There we go. Now she's sewing. Planting. So we've made considerable progress on this path. There isn't too much left of it. And how we're doing for time. So I'm already 40 minutes in. That's incredible. Okay, so we needed meat. We're getting meat. Manhunter pack is going to supply us. It's like the storyteller's like, hey, let's cause some havoc for him, and I'm like. Maybe you don't understand how, uh, how capable of violence my group is. I am just canceling some of the uh, hunting that I had previously queued up. So I don't think I need it at the moment. Oh, let's get this auto door there. Alright, doe. It's your funeral. Quit hitting my door. All right, let's go stop it from from bashing the door anymore. That's already a fatal injury. Oh, go away. Fine, you wanna fight? I was gonna let you bleed out like Bambi, but now you get something worse. You get to die immediate, which I guess is some of it a courtesy, right? It's probably a better way to die. Alright, so, uh, in the interest of finding high quality stuff, let's mine that. I need to find Plasteel, obviously. Uh, this is probably not Plasteel, it's too big. Who knows what this is, but 
I'm, I'm going to find out. All right, Tannen, you got your work cut out for you. Never got that healed. All right, so what did this get our crafting up to? Not that much higher, sadly. Is this not a crafting task anymore? No, it isn't, is it? I was thinking old school. All right, so this is Jade. Uh, let's not destroy it, but turn it off. I don't need Jade. Not in the immediate future. There's a bit of a hiccup there, and it made me click the wrong thing. All right, so we have bingo steel right now. We don't have steel to work with. Uh, Thrall, I'll just slightly prioritize everyone for steel. So pretty soon we're gonna have power armor. And I want to be able to use it when we do, to be able to uh, start crafting it. So usually, pla uh, that might be plasteel. As could this stuff. Unfortunately, that's on the wrong side of the river. So I'd need to set up a power grid over here. Or run a cable, extraordinarily long cable. Yeah, that actually might be cheaper. Just to do an extraordinarily long cable over. Kind of a crazy idea, but I think it'd be cheaper. All right, are we mining? No, you're hauling. Uh, let's get you off of that. We need steel. We need steel to make steel. We need money to make money. All right, this stupid path is almost done, though. So I'll keep Iseth and... Uh, tannin on it just to finish it up all right agil is mining now welcome site because i'm sure what's in my kitchen is probably a steel node this this year it's pro almost certainly steel area all right that's the last of the I'll do one more limestone. And then that's the last that I'm going to need for a while, I hope. Alright, uh, you're carrying one steel? I think we could do better than that. That's just stupid. So this needs one more, huh? 99, yep. Ambrosia sprout. Cool. And we got power armor now. Um, hmm. Give me one second. Uh, psychic refining. I mean, if we're growing all this, uh, all these drugs. We might as well use them. Now I need to make sure that wild animals aren't uh, just eating my stuff. Oh, come on. You didn't... All right. Need material. Oh, Jesus. I need components. Which means I need a component assembly. I have 
three more steel than I need for this, whatever it is. I really hope it's steel underneath there. Because if it's not, I've got problems. And let's just say, drop on floor. Uh, I'm going to make a speed up the component assembly. I'm going to have um, steel and components manufactured. Steel and components uh, storage right here. That way she doesn't have to do a lot of running because I foresee having to craft a lot of components. And that will get my crafting skill up, which will allow me to make better armor. But for now, go to sleep. Okay, we've got a tribes raid. They're going to wait around for a bit. If the pirates had no chance, these tribals are a total joke. Total joke. Right, I'm going to temporarily power that off. So this is steel, as I thought. All right, so they're coming. Um, I, Seth, I'm not going to wake you up for this. You don't need to be up. You could sleep in. These guys are going to get slaughtered. I'm already shooting them in the heads a bunch. Back up one for slightly better cover. I like how they immediately get beheaded. Alright, they're running. Frog, what do you look like? Meh. You'd actually be pretty good to recruit. But I said I wouldn't do that. Um, if you weren't bloodlusted, I would enslave you. Cool. Mad animal. Wow, there's a lot of gazelle. Chasing them down. You know, because human leather and all. Alright, where'd that gazelle go? It's going crazy over here. So, Tannin Mistema, may I borrow your services? Done. Okay, I have a lot of, um... Let's clean that up. I have a lot of silver. Uh, I just need something to buy at this point. But being able to get steel right out from the ground where I live is going to be pretty nice. Alright, Go Juice is probably going to be my drug of choice. It's a nice, nice battle drug. Alright, we've got power up to there. Hi, Seth, what are you doing? You're digging at compacted steel. I guess I'll get the ground compacted steel first, but I want you constructing or crafting. You need to be making components. And from where I stand, it does not look like you're making components right now. Looks like you're ignoring the priorities that I had set. So you should be bringing, yep, yeah, good. They're bringing the components there. Got some more human leather. I think I'll just plant some daylilies. Brighten up the area a bit. That's a non-fertile area, so I didn't bother using it. Let's 
So I'm eager to know what's down there, which I'll know once I make this component and put it to use. Okay, you probably want rest. I'll leave the room space heaters on. Obviously, I don't need these on. Um, try to conserve power. Frog finally bled out. Let's butcher him. Ten and once you're up, we'll build that. So Ithes should be pushing fifteen soon. Yep, she will be. Doing drilling right in their drug lab. Uranium. Alright. Let's turn this off. I don't need uranium and we have probably more human leather yep okay so we got go juice done uh, package survival meals I think will be next because if we go raiding we're gonna want food and the one thing I did was, I don't have... I guess I could purchase pack animals, but we can't tame anything. Which means um, we have to bring the food, and we can't loot that much. There won't be a lot of looting because of the weight limits. Wow, my hour is almost already up. That's seemingly unbelievable to me. Although I'm a lot better um, set up now than I ever once was. I don't think it will be very long before I, um, I'm i ready to, to do some war type stuff. Bear, you better not eat me. It'll be the end of you. Marble wall. That's a weird place for a wall. Yo, Agio, get back here. Once you're done, haul. Ain't no one doing the hauling for you. You got a haul on your own. All right, the first rice is almost ready. Get the squirrels out of my farm. Yes, so Fairly actionless. Uh, I did have two raids here, um, but they were attacking me. I wasn't attacking them. Um, I am getting closer to being able to make some power armor, but if I can't do that, uh, I could just do steel helmets and armored vests. Um, I'm thinking that might be the route I take. Because um, I can I can use the components um, Simple helmet. So I think the advanced helmets requires five plasteel. steel. Yeah. So I can't make an advanced helmet unless I get some plasteel. steel. But advanced helmets are pretty efficient use of plasteel steel if I don't have too much of it. Whereas a power armor helmet is mostly plasteel. steel. sure everyone is productive they look to be hopefully I oh all right chem fuel can turn that one off let's turn this back on and try to find some plasteel maybe this is plasteel I keep saying that to myself, one day, one day it will be true. Alright, so we have enough components to already build that, which is great. 
a nice change of pace using using the last of her components to make this. Come on, B plaz, B plaz, gold. All right, turn that off. Well, um, I'll try those three locations next. All right, I hmm. electric smelting, maybe, maybe shield belt. Smoke pot belts. All right, so let's do refining first and then smoke pot. We're going to want refining anyway if we're going to be transport potting ever. All right, now that, that's done. Uh, let's go back to fine meals. Oh, you know what? That is... Uh... This looks a little wasteful, but that's a kind of a long run to make. Oh, great. You're hauling like one steel? Yeah. Phenomenal. That's a really strange place for a marble wall. Embedded in there. All right, let's make sure. Oh, no, no, come on. That we have this constructed so we don't spoil everything. Oh, need one more component. I'm moving it so that um, I can put uh, a door here to access the plants outside a lot faster. And then also air conditioners are um, somewhat of a weak link. Um, they're the most vulnerable uh, wall, you know, much more vulnerable than the walls. So if I put a door here, it stops raiders from being able to get into the kitchen so quick. That's, that was sort of my uh, thinking there. And that this area here, I could have as a no roof area. Um, or even, even keep it roofed, it really doesn't matter. Because it's still outside. But if I ever wanted to use the heat that this generates, I could heat up these bedrooms that way. Because this... Um, Running all the way around is a little inefficient. All right, Agile. Let's go ahead and crack into this, see if this is a room or something. I don't think it is. It didn't detect that it was an ancient danger either. And nothing. Well, on that bombshell of a surprise, uh, I've got to call this episode over. I feel like these episodes are flying by because I'm having so much fun. But um, yeah, so this was episode four, I guess. And uh, we're just about ready, as soon as I get some Plasteel, to make some war progress. And then I think it will be a lot more action, um, kind of constant raids thereafter. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any feedback, comments, questions, concerns, yada, 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 drop me a line, and I will catch you all later. All right, adios, friends.